Today we're taking a quick look at the PD movie Live Air 3 Smart. Now in case you're unaware, PD Movie is a company that has previously put out wireless follow focus units and recently has started putting out more LiDAR based wireless follow focus units, including what we're taking a look at here today, which is the Live Air 3 Smart. Now I've had a few weeks of testing out this unit and I wanna bring my thoughts to you and I wanna talk about some things I like about this and some things I don't like. And so let's dive right in talking about some of the things I like about this. The first thing I really like is the overall simplicity Simplicity. One is you do have a very simple setup process. It takes roughly about three steps to calibrate this unit. And so that is something that already has kind of beat some of the competitors. And on top of that, you do have five different profiles to store different lenses depending on obviously what lenses you're using. So I try to calibrate my whole set of Sigma Cine Primes. But another thing that makes with simplicity of this is just the overall footprint of this unit. One thing I don't like about some of the other options on the market is there's cables hanging everywhere. And sometimes you even have to be attached to a gimbal and that's just not what I'm trying to go for. I want something very small footprint, very easy. I want something that I can just easily use when I'm doing something like a YouTube talking head. And so that's really one thing that I've just loved about this whole process. The other thing I like about the overall kind of small footprint of this unit is the follow focus wheel. It's just tiny. Overall, you can put this on your rig and it just takes up no space and I love it for that. Perfect for gimbal use. Now beyond simplicity, something else I like about the PD Movie Live Air 3 Smart, which is absolutely a mouthful, but still. But one thing I do appreciate about the unit is the overall price. The price of entry on this LiDAR system is actually relatively low compared to some other options. If you look at offerings from DJI, you have to buy into a whole ecosystem to access their LiDAR functionality. And then there are some other third-party options that do require you to buy multiple components. And by the time you're done, you're spending more still than you would with the PD Movie Live Air 3 Smart. And so I do appreciate the fact that this is a lower cost point of entry for this LiDAR setup. Now beyond the simplicity and price of this unit, the last thing that I love about it is just the fact that it does offer autofocus for my cinema lenses or my manual lenses. Honestly, like this is super helpful for someone like me that uses manual focus lenses for my YouTube channel. I can do this kind of talking head and yes, there may be limitations around the autofocus, like I need to be in the center frame. And that is something that does drive me crazy and we'll talk about that here in a little bit. But knowing that I can move around and I'm gonna stay in focus as long as my hands don't come out in front of me, I think that's something you'll notice but this is something that is game changer for me. Now this is where we get into the things I don't like about this unit. And honestly, it's probably all centered around the autofocus. And to be fair, this is not necessarily for the Live Air 3 Smart. This is for LiDAR in general. And that's the fact that you do have to be in the center of the frame. That drives me nuts because if I'm doing a narrative piece, I usually try to use my rule of thirds for conversation. And so I can't use that with the LiDAR system. And so it kind of hurts composition and overall framing in that sense. Then just overall with the autofocus, again, it is going to focus on whatever's closest to the LiDAR sensor. And so if I put my hand up, it's gonna try to focus on my hand and not my face. And so that is something I did notice in one of my previous videos where I was doing my sign off and I put my hand up like I normally do and it was focusing in on my hand. And so that's something that's kind of a bummer. With all that said, who is this for and would I even recommend it? I think if you're somebody that's a solo operator that uses cinema glass and you don't have a focus puller, but you want to be able to track someone or potentially do something like this, like an interview where somebody may be moving back and forth and you just wanna turn on the LiDAR to be able to track them a little bit better, I think that is who I'd recommend this for. I wouldn't recommend it for someone that is always using their rule of thirds. If they're really needing something like autofocus and the robust 
robustness of good autofocus, that's where I would say maybe you want to look at actually getting good autofocus cameras and maybe good autofocus lenses. But if you're someone like me that uses the Sigma FP and cinema lenses for something like a talking head like this or an interview like this, and you just want simple tracking, simple autofocus for a little bit of movement, then I would definitely check out the PD Movie Live Air 3 Smart. And so that's it for me. I know I threw a bunch of information at you guys and I hope it was helpful, but if you do have any more questions, let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you all for joining. Go and find your journey. Go embrace life. Peace. I'm trying to keep my hand closer to my face. <laughs> <laughs>